me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome to VEDA Day 28 and also the Yarn Joy Podcast episode number 254. <laughs> I'm combining these two videos together in one today because I am pressed for time again today. So, um, but I wanted to get in here and, and get the video done. Didn't want to skip a day for my VEDA videos. And of course, this is my regular uh, Yarn Joy Podcast episode day on Thursday. So I didn't want to miss that. I did not want to not do that either. So I'm combining them together. <laughs> okay. So for, let's see, let's go ahead and do VEDA first. Okay. So on VEDA, I've been doing a declutter challenge that was Steph of the Secret Slob of YouTube. Uh, she's hosting it, giving us an assignment Monday through Friday of things to do to declutter in our house. And so, um, she's got this little bingo sheet that I've been pr uh, printed out and I've been working on. And so today's assignment was the garage right here. Well, my husband has been working on the garage. Well, both of us together, but mainly him. So we've been working on decluttering the garage already. Haven't done anything exactly today over there or in the garage but we've been working on it all along so i'm going to go ahead and x off the garage <laughs> okay so doing that i was counting up the amount of bingos that i have and i forgot to look diagonally when i was counting the other day and so um i have more than what i had said so uh, i counted up while ago let me see one two three four five six i have seven bingos <laughs> so and and anyway, I have almost everything X'd out except for toys and games right there. I didn't do that. Cords and tech gear, I didn't end up doing that. And then there's one more big project right here. Of course, there is a couple more days of April still, so I may find an, something to qualify as a big project and then I will be able to X that out. But as of now, that one is not X'd out. <laughs> anyway, so I have really enjoyed this month as far as doing de all this decluttering and I'm so happy that I was able to inspire uh, several of you to also do some decluttering. Um, it just makes you feel good. <laughs> okay, so that's what I did as far as decluttering today. Besides that, I've been working on uh, the Lizzie blanket and, oh, and my Feel Better Friend doll, but I'll save that for the, the regular episode video, which will be well, in this video, but a little bit later. <laughs> okay, so the Lizzie blanket, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I do want to show you uh, how much I've gotten done on that. So let me see here. I started yesterday, I finished part four of the Lizzie blanket. And so today I started part five and I got, which is the last part before we do the border. And so um, I did the first repeat of it. So let me show you the whole thing here. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so um, I started, let me hold this up here. I started where was it? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, right here, right here. <laughs> so from here all the way up is what I did for today, okay? So this one has got some uh, double crochet rows, some half double crochet rows, and then there's two featured rows, I guess you'd, you'd call it, which is this cross stitch right there and uh, which she calls it a kiss stitch. I've never heard it called that. I thought that was cute. And then we are doing the bean stitch again, which is this one right here. So anyway, um, that is my first repeat. Now there's, uh, how many? 30 times six. <laughs> so there's five more repeats that I have to do from, in these row, from those rows, okay? And then my, the body of the blanket will be done. So that's what I did. I completed the first repeat <laughs> and um, of part five. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then what else? Um, oh, like I said, I did, I worked on the Feel Better Friend doll. So let's go. Oh, and what's for dinner? I'll slide that right in. What's for dinner? I, I found a meatball, a cheeseburger meat ball recipe that I want to try. And so I've got my meat out, my hamburger meat in the uh, ground beef uh, in the kitchen. I mean, I'm thawing it out right now so then I can make the meatballs out of it. So that's what's for dinner. I'll just throw some side dishes, some sort of vegetables and 
in something, you know, some side dishes along with it. Uh, I think the original recipe called for you to put it into like hot dog buns or something to make like a meatball sub ish type thing, but I don't have, I don't have the bread to do that. So anyway, so that's what's for dinner. <laughs> so let's go on to the regular Yarn Joy podcast episode number 254. <laughs> okay, so for my finished objects, now I have showed this last week in my beta video, but not on this regular episode video, so I'm showing it again. So for my first finished object is this little octopus <laughs> that I made. This was part of the crocheting cotton uh, crocheting with cotton collab that I'm doing with Seta of Seta's Place. And so this was what I made with the uh, yarn ball that she had uh, given me in one of the packages. I will link below in the description box where you can find this um, octopus. <laughs> it's called the Color Octopus something, I forget. But anyway, I'll link below. It's really a cute pattern and I like the, I like the way it turned out. I've never made, I, I don't think I've made amigurumi out of cotton before. And so I'm really liking the way it turned out. <laughs> okay, and so that is finished object number one. Finished object number two, I also showed this previously in one of the VEDA videos when I was working on it. But this is a bookmark that I made. It is a flower applique from um, Rem I always forget, Ra rafamusadesigns.com. I think I'll link it below in the description box. But anyway, it was just the applique and the applique for the leaf. And then I decided to put it on one of these long paperclip type bookmark, paperclip bookmarks that I got from Dollar Tree. And so I just thought it would be really cute uh, to make it, turning into a, a paperclip bookmark. <laughs> okay, so that is finished object number two. Finish object number three is another flower, okay? Oh, and the re and an inspiration as far as why I did made this bookmark is because of the yarn bingo sheet. There's a bookmark um, square. <laughs> and then this next one is another flower, and this one has to do with the yarn bingo sheet. It's said to create a poppy, and so I made a, I found a pattern for a poppy. I guess this looks like a poppy. <laughs> I don't know. It said it was a poppy, and then I put one leaf on it. Um, I may I used this uh, like chenille type yarn. It was just a yarn scrap ball that I had. Um, but anyway, this is it. It's not used that much here in the United States, but a lot of places the poppy is representative of like a Remembrance Day for uh, veterans, right? Veterans but not here in the United States. But anyway, um, that's my puppy. <laughs> okay. And what I think I'm going to do with this is because I have a, um, uh, oh, let me show you. It's right here in the floor. Let me get it. I mean, it was sitting on something. Okay. So I made this Wizard of Oz bag a long time ago. Wizard of Oz tote bag. And the lining of it, the lining, let me flip this up is poppies <laughs> because of the poppy um, in the Wizard of Oz, the poppy field. And so I was thinking that I would just, as an embellishment to this tote bag, I would attach the poppy to it because of the poppies that are in the movie. So I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach that. So I think that would be cute. <laughs> okay, so what else? Let's see, that is all my finished objects. So let's go on to works in progress. So works in progress, I'm working on the Feel Better Friend doll. I have his, got his hair done, so let me show you that. So I made a wig cap, and so that's how I ended up doing the hair. I wasn't real happy with that. I really wanted to do strands, but I was just having a hard time with it, and so I just decided I'd make a wig cap, and then what I did to make the hair a little bit on the wavy side, if you can see the texture, is I did a slip stitch, chain three and then slip stitch. And I did that kind of surface crochet all on that wig cap. Okay, so that's what I did all the way around. And so I still need to, and, and I do, I, I did attach the wig cap to the head. I stitched it to the head. Um, I need to make the ears yet and the smile. I haven't sewed the applique on the t-shirt yet that he's gonna be wearing. And then I also need to put a couple of scars and a G-tube. Um, 
and then he will be finished. But I'm hoping my, my aim is to get him finished this week, this upcoming, you know, within the next few days, hopefully. Um, so then I can get him shipped off because I've had him too long. He needs to go to his uh, real life brother or you know that's gonna get him so uh i'm thinking the wig cap made his head just a little floppy so i may go back and reinforce the neck connection just a little bit more possibly because it seems like he kind of leans back so anyway uh i will either show this again next week as a finished object or i will uh, if i get it finished and i want to get it shipped off before then i will take a picture and show you either way <laughs> okay um so that is, fin uh, that is works in progress number one. Works in progress number two, and it's the only other works in progress I have, is the Jada in Stitches square. The square is finished. The border is not done, but at least I'm so happy that I got the square finished. Okay. I have not uh, cut my yarn yet or finished off. I need to because the border, I'm using a different, um, different color. Anyway, here's my square. This is the honeycomb stitch. Can you see the detail in the stitch there? Yeah. Anyway, this is very interesting. I really like the way this was Tunisian crochet, but it did not curl up like normal Tunisian crochet usually does. So there you go. <laughs> May not even have to block this very much, so that's good. I'm just, I'm hoping though that they're gonna be similar size to the ones I blocked already. I have to, uh, try that you know well I've only blocked one of them I've got another one I haven't blocked yet and this one I haven't blocked oh and then I have another one I haven't blocked oh my goodness I'm having to have to have a blocking party <laughs> and block these squares before I get too many of them um, too many unblocked ones <laughs> but anyway I need to go around with the border which is a red yarn that I'm using for all the, the squares and then it will be finished so this will be a finished object next week Okay, and that is all my works in progress I've been doing. Um, so uh, that is all the projects that I've worked on. Well, besides my Stitch Your Library, but I showed that yesterday in the Stitch Your Library video. So I'm working on that too. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but Veda is almost over and then I'll kind of get, I'll pick up some of these whips like the round the bases blanket. I want to start working on that again. I haven't worked on it in a while because I just too many to keep up with. <laughs> and, um, and of course, uh, May the first is Sunday. So that means when we get into May, I have some more preemie hats I need to make. So yeah, upcoming is just picking up some of my projects that I've kind of set down for a little bit and uh and then, like i said i just did the stitcher library that will be finished uh in two weeks when i do the next stitcher library that project will be finished because i need to get it finished before my grandbaby's birthday and so uh, i will have three new projects that i will be presenting to you that you can vote on to see what the next project will be for that series okay oh but i, I was going to ask answer well, not a question well kind of question this was a comment by judith okay i think she commented i can't remember which video it was but i was reading the comments of different videos and she had asked me about the blanket i don't have it on the, uh, well the one that was on this chair right there now it's i moved it because i'm about to pick it up and show it to you but it's a blanket that i did a long time ago if you've been following me uh, since the beginning of my YouTube, not the beginning, beginning, but uh, pretty, pretty much the beginning, you've seen this blanket. But I had it. This was part of when I was decluttering the large linen blanket, linen closet, <laughs> and I found this in there, and I was like, oh, I forgot about that. So I pulled it out, I put it on the back of that chair, on that chair right there, uh, just to change up my background a little bit, and. Um, and then Judith was asking me about it, and she said she couldn't remember me showing it. So I guess she she. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I did show this. So I wanted to sh I told her I would show it and then talk about it a little bit. So here you go. <laughs> okay, so this was a crochet along that I took part in. It might have been one of the first crochet alongs possibly that I did. And it was by Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet. And she was doing a, it was like a crochet along where you're supposed to make something. It wasn't particularly a blanket. You're supposed to make something that represented a favorite movie okay so I decided to do Wizard of Oz and so um, I was really getting into graph gans at the time and so I thought oh, well, I'm gonna do a blanket 
with the Wizard of Oz characters on it. And so what I did is I, look, I found a pattern and I purchased the pattern. I think it was off of Etsy and it was actually a cross stitch pattern, but it had the graphs that I needed for to use for corner to corner. And so uh, I, I made this blanket with the, the Wizard of Oz characters and then um, added to it a little bit on my own. So let me show you, go ahead and show this, okay? So here it is. So I have the witch right there, okay? The Wicked Witch of the West, okay? And then I have, here's the Cowardly Lion. And then here, of course, is Dorothy with Toto. And then on this edge, let me pick it up, there's Glinda the Good Witch right there. And then the next row <laughs> is the Scarecrow. And then the Tin Man. Okay, and so when I, and then when I planned this out, I was thinking, well, it was real narrow. I mean, well, it's long this way, but it's, it was narrow up and down. <laughs> and so I decided I needed something else on there. And so what I did is I decided to put a yellow brick road. So there I made, I graphed that out and I did the yellow brick road, okay, all the way across. And then the emerald, the Emerald City or the castle, you know, and so this right there, the castle was, I think it was a Mario pixel chart or something of the cat Bowser's castle or something. And I decided to use that and I just did it in this green uh, for the Emerald City. Okay. And so that's the yellow brick road going to the Emerald City. <laughs> anyway, I thought this turned out really cute. I think I have a picture of this all laid out so you can see the whole image. And so if I still have it on my computer, then I'll pop it in right here and you can see that um, it all laid out. So anyway, I love the way that turned out. It's a little bit on the heavy side. <laughs> um, and But one thing about it is that I didn't, I should have ran the image going a different direction because the the I sh I the blank the image is like this well that that's not real good representation but it's a rectangle like going this way okay the image and so actually I should have had it where the image was this way f for the blanket you know and the, the image would have been longer than wide so I really did it the wrong way, but I hadn't designed blankets very much. I think that's one of my first ones that I actually designed. Well, no, except for the Mario ones, but that one was the more, more things that I did on my own, I guess, as far as designing and I do. Oh, well, that's the way it came out. So that is my Wizard of Oz blanket. So Judith, there you go. That's the story behind what that what that blanket was that was sitting on that sitting on the chair. Uh, get, so then you can have a good look at it. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I think that is it for um, Beta Day Twenty Eight and Episode Two Hundred Fifty Four of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. I appreciate you all so much. Um, I'm going to be babysitting this evening, and so I need to go ahead and get dinner put together and ready or get in the oven or whatever, and then be ready for when they bring the little man over. So then we can, um, my husband and I will tag team babysitting him. <laughs> we always have a good time with him. So, uh, so I'm going to go. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. Like I said, new subscribers and those who have been with me from the beginning. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and following me along in all my projects that I work on. <laughs> and um, so that's it. So thanks for coming by for VEDA Day 28. And come by tomorrow and we will have a visit for VEDA Day 29. And oh, and I will show you my, or I will re reveal the final project th from the Crochet Cut crocheting with cotton collab that I'm doing with Seta. So I, I will have the final project, which was the challenge kit. Um, and I'll reveal that it'll be completed tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. So see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye-bye.